Hey everyone, welcome to the finale of 74 Gone the Way. Almost done with the first lot of Blue Water Village and I think I'm off to a great start to be honest. So yeah, in this video I'm just going to put some furnishing into the garden for all of the Malcolm Ford garden parties that I'm sure he throws all the time. And um, yeah, I'm going to finish the second floor which is basically just one study and his bedroom and an ensuite bathroom. Exciting! Um, I have to apologize for, um, well, like I said, some traffic in the background. I just can't help it. The microphone just picks it up. In the last video, um, some people came home and started slamming doors, so you will, yeah, some doors in the audio. I'm sorry for that. At one point I had to cut apart because somebody was having an entire conversation with another person and they were using their names. So I was like, nah, let's cut that out. Yeah. Also, I'm Dutch, in case you haven't noticed, so a lot of the conversation was in Dutch, which might have been very strange for a lot of people. <laughs> and it wasn't a very informative conversation anyway either, so I think it's best that I cut that out. Anyway, back to this lot. Uh, yeah, I made this uh, little, you call it a roof terrace? Yeah, small little roof terrace. I just put some lounging chairs there. I don't know what Malcolm would do up there, but... I was thinking about putting a hot tub in there and then I realized I already had a jacuzzi in his pool so I was like, nah, I think even for a rich person two jacuzzi might be a little bit much. <laughs> Although, you know, he's a fortunate sin so maybe he wants another one. So you can, if you are decided, if you've decided to play this lot, you can always put another jacuzzi up there. So here I'm just putting down some small tables with some chairs for like, like what I said, like a little garden party or something. Um, of course he would probably have a chef doing his barbecuing or do chef barbecue would that be a barbecue master or something I don't know anyway anything I was just I just wanted to put something in this big well piece of empty garden so tables and chairs it is I never used that barbecue I think maybe once Looks funny with that little pipe coming out. <laughs> I think it looks funny. Very manly barbecue. Although some men would of course argue that all barbecues are manly because for some reason men always have to do the barbecue things. What is that? I never understood understood that. Is it because it has to do with like coals and fire and therefore it's cool? Men have to do it man cooking barbecues <laughs> I don't know I don't know that are weird anywhere more plants what could go wrong just use plants when in doubt use plants um so do you have something interesting to tell you probably not a very boring person I don't know I just saw an ad that for the Netflix that they put on this show which was called American Supernatural it's a real life show or something a documentary I don't know about supernatural things in America I was like oh yeah that's right up my alley I love that shit <laughs> so I might stop watching that afterwards or I'll continue Parks and Recreation I don't know have to watch something or I could watch someone's let's play of like Mass Effect Andromeda I don't know Anyway, oh, I love these side tables. They're so pretty. I don't remember who made them. Or made that particular recolor. I know the original tables by Simpson Parrots, but that those particular recolors are so pretty. You know, but when I'll be um, making the download file, I'll sure find out. <laughs> ah, yeah, and here's the big desk I always use. I can't help it. That desk is amazing. I believe it's like version from a Game of Thrones game or something but it's it's beautiful it's so such a big regal desk and it looks fine in you know this giant office because you know Malcolm doesn't need any offspring you can just house that in his other house with you know and his mistress in another <laughs> I'm gonna I'm going to keep that alive 
That's that's my Malcolm. <laughs> Horrible person. <laughs> nice iMac. I don't have an iMac, never have. Probably have Will. But you know, I figure he's rich, he probably has one. And the one with the marble like foot stands and keyboard. That 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 screams rich to me. Hmm? <laughs> uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, I was talking about TV, right? Oh yeah, Mass Effect and Drama. God. I've heard some things and weren't really good. I've never played a Mass Effect game, but since I heard it was going to be like a new sort of start, you didn't really need to know about the rest of these games. I was like, oh, you know, that sounds interesting. Might buy it. And then I heard some things and I was like, ooh, hmm, might have to wait a while. Definitely not going to buy it now. I'll probably wait till the price is like lowered a little bit. Yeah, other games I've played recently, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, which I loved, it's amazing. Um, or, uh, if, you've, if you are uh, thinking about buying a PlayStation 4 game, you don't know which one, I definitely recommend Horizon Zero Dawn, it's very good. It's a post-apocalyptic um, world where you fight against robotic dinosaurs and animals and it's just it's great you know there are problematic elements which I will not go into right now but it's such a good game I loved it you know and it's uh it's uh the, the producer is uh, Gorilla Games which is a Dutch company so and I'm like I said I was I'm Dutch so it was uh, a very big news item over here suddenly all the news were talking about this game and they hardly ever do it's usually like you know you have every newspaper or or, or a news website has like their own sort of maybe like culture media a little corner and that's what they usually talk about games but because this was such a big release for a dutch company they put it like in the main news and yeah everyone was just like really proud <laughs> Even though none of us really worked on it, I was like, wow, you know, a Dutch company getting so much international recognition, that's amazing. So yeah, Rising Zero Dawn, definitely recommend it. Anyway, let's, uh, what, am I, what have I done here? Oh yeah, put some uh, archiving cabinets there, which screams off an office, right? Like an office isn't an office without those little cabinets, even though you could probably could not fit one file in there. So I don't know what it keeps in there. What, what do you keep in those things, Malcolm? What secret things do you keep there? Yeah, and a painting. I thought it would be nice to have like a big dramatic painting there. And I saw like this uh, stag one. I was like, yeah, this will do. <laughs> yeah, I tried to put like uh, another table underneath. And I finally settled for like another <laughs> sort of file cabinet. Because it's an office and you need... Foul, foul cabinets, right? That's what an office looks like. I don't know. I don't know what a rich person's cabinet uh, office looks like. This is what I imagine it. <laughs> Big desk and lots of foul cabinets. So I remember reading that um, they uh, land grabs are in full with uh, real estate or something or did I did just buying stuff I don't know so I remember these uh, little um, building models I have and I thought like you know what let's use those and I think I uh, ended up using the only the tower one oh, yeah, and the little uh, oh I don't know the little balls that click against each other I've forgotten the name but I was like it's an office I need one of those offices have those <laughs> I have no concept of a real office I'm sorry Yeah, I thought it would just look nice. Looks like a home office. So he probably maybe he works from home or maybe does he have a job in the game? I don't know. Maybe I should just read up on this <laughs> this sort of stuff when I when I talk about the pre mates. Maybe there are people screaming in the comments like, Oh my god, Yoli, why don't you know this? This is super canon stuff. Ah, I really don't care for can 
for the idea of canon in the games. Like, oh my god, who cares? <laughs> the entire Sims concept is based on a sandbox. Like, of course there are certain things you can't ignore, like, I don't know, um, the Goths being a family or something, like, Mortimer and Bella being the parents of, uh, Cassandra, like, that's, you can't, well, unless she's adopted, but I think she's got the genes, right? Well, anyway, you know what I mean? There's certain things that's, that's, well, sort of canon, and, you know, you can always rewrite your own stuff, but who cares? My god, if you want to make a character gay, go for it, like, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. Wow, this episode's been on a wild ride, right? Talked about PlayStation games and go ahead and make every pre-made gay. Yeah, that's my stance. <laughs> Do whatever you want, I don't care. Gender bend, race bends, who cares? It's your game. Who cares? Anyway, this office looks nice, I really like it. Very big fan. I think I did a great job for which is basically kind of a waste of space if you think about it, because all I put there that's functional is one computer. <laughs> so I guess if you want him to, you know, have his wife live with him, if he has a wife, or maybe he's gay, maybe he has a husband, I don't know, whatever you want. You can have them, you know, sort of split up this room and have him have a smaller office and dump all the offspring in another room. Who knows? Or you could build a room above the garage and just dump the kids there. <laughs> like some weird animal. Like, go there. Go there, Quasimodo. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to find um, the diplomas. I remember having diplomas in me. I was like, where the hell are my diplomas? I want to put, like, a diploma up there. And I remember I have this um, old... Um, university collection folder. I make all my collection folders. It's super handy. I would totally recommend doing it. It should help find stuff so much easier. And also keeping them up to date. So every time you download something new, you can use the collection maker to um, basically... Well, what I do is when I download new stuff, I put them in a new folder that's just called new or whatever test folder put them in there, then use the collection folder to make a collection out of all those items so I know, so I can load up the collections when I'm in game and see all the new objects at once and then, you know, put them in other collection folders. So, so if you've ever uh, focused on my collection folders, you would have probably seen the ones that have like three circles from the uh, MISC um, folder, uh, a symbol and that's basically where I put all my new where all the new downloads are in so I can easily check whether I like them if I don't like them I throw them out immediately and like I said again it helps me organize stuff I think uh, Freezer Bunny Sims came up with that idea I'm not sure if maybe I got it she reblogged a post that um, that showed me that idea. I was like, oh my god, that's so handy. Why did I never got to think of that? But then again, I never knew about the collection maker at all. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's such a... I definitely recommend having these collection folders. Like, you know, like right now I'm in the bathroom collection folder. So I have like all my bathroom stuff in there. All the bathroom clutter. And it just helps. Makes everything so much more, um, yeah, easier for me find stuff. Anyway, on sweet bathroom, nice simple bathroom. Really like that mirror. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> of course, you know, I never, I, I don't think I'm a super realistic decorator or anything, but always think about oh man you have a bathroom so you need a place where you put like all of the towels and you know depending on how big the bathroom is I like for instance this room's relatively big so I put like a little cabinet where you can do stuff in it but sometimes I'm like you know what this is a small bathroom I can't be bothered they'll just have to do with a sink a toilet and a and a shower that's it <laughs> live with that you know it's all they need anyway 
And it's kind of annoying that only the medicine cabinet will allow you to brush your teeth, right? Or not? This is all the mirrors. Been so long. <laughs> Should definitely re replay the game. Anyway, time for the master bedroom. Being a nice, majestic bed. Nice, fancy bed. And I think I'm messing around with a joint bed blanket for a while, but. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. Just ate some chocolate eggs. It's uh, when, when's Easter? I don't know. I'm not a religious person, so I always forget. But over here, we always eat lo like chocolate eggs, and um, just had a couple of them. Pretty nice. And I had a cup of tea. Yeah, and I I walked with a cup of tea without spilling it. So <laughs> uh, I'm doing great. So here we go, Jonesy Bed Blanket. Which one of my 5,000 recolors will I pick? I think I picked this one relatively quickly, if I remember correctly. I want it to be something that I didn't, like, stand out too much against the wallpaper. I don't remember what, what I saw it for. This is a surprise for me as much as it is for you. Going. These are all by a uh, creator called Lolly1235. She makes them. She made a, a whole bunch of them. They're really great. Definitely recommend them. Maybe I should edit this out, but I'm already in it, so I'm not gonna do it. Nope, you're gonna watch me pick every color I have. Ooh, I settled for this one. No, wait, no, yeah, that one. Oh. Yep, that one. <laughs> I like it. It's nice out uh, in the birds and flowers. Nice flora pattern. Yeah, the curtains don't really fit the round windows perfectly, but uh, I, I, was, I couldn't be bothered. I don't have. I don't know if there are any uh, three tiled versions of these curtains. There should be. Be nice, but. Yeah, whatever. It's not that big a deal. Curtains. Went for a nice subtle gray one. And then I went for the um, big. Oop, my audio is doing weird. Okay. Um, yeah, I went for a big um, closet, as you can see with the mirror. It's a sort of a modular clo a closet you could put. Um, together the way you want it, it's nice. Of course, some plants, always plants. Yeah, and I wanted to um, put a nice clean sofa there, so. Yeah, and I gave Malcolm his own little beauty table, so. I read that he wears eyeliner, he needs to apply it somewhere, so there you can put apply it over there. Yeah, you live your life, Malcolm. You do whatever you want, it's all right. Again, fancy paintings. We always need fancy paintings. I can only at least pick one. <laughs> I'm that commenter now. Like, hurry up. Just pick one. I really like those paintings. Where they're by Emma's Barrows, as you can see on the, the description from a Sims resource. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're nearing the end here. Nice, simple, and clean. <laughs> it's a nice Kingdom Hearts reference there. A simple and clean um, bedroom there. So now I'm doing some final looks, checking if I forgot something, and then, well, I didn't, so that's it. Finale. I'm done. Okay. Bye.